Right, so what we're going to be doing is looking at um, the individual elements of the face. So we're going to be looking at the eyes, the nose and the mouth and get an idea about how to draw these. Now, rather than just diving straight in and doing a really detailed study, we're going to start you off with a lesson of continuous line studies um, that are timed. The reason for this is to try to loosen you up a little bit more and to encourage you to understand the importance of looking. So your teacher will decide the time, the timing of each of your drawings and they'll range from one minute up to five, maybe slightly longer. And what, what you're going to be doing is using continuous lines so your pencil won't leave the page. If you're right-handed, move your book over to the right-hand side. If you're left-handed, move it over to the left-hand side and try and keep it straight with your body. Now, what we want to do is end up with a page that looks very dynamic and very creative and has lots of lovely continuous line drawings on it. I'm not at this time worried about lots of detail and lots of accuracy. accuracy. I just want you to loosen up and to start to get a feel for the drawing and the shapes and the lines that occur within the eye and how to acknowledge and record those. And then when we come to do the sustained study, you'll be much better at achieving that accuracy because you will have had this practice. Now what we want with these studies is for them to overlap one another and not too much but just you know on the corners and on the edges and for the page to be filled. We don't really want any big gaps and we want there to be a range of sizes so some that are quite small and some that are quite big and if you think about the amount of time that your teacher is giving you so if it's a one minute study, it probably wants to be a slightly smaller one. And if it's a five minute study, it can be slightly larger. And we also want you to turn your book. So you can do one drawing and then when you start the next one, make sure you turn your book so it becomes multi-directional. And what we will end up with is a page that looks more like pattern than it does drawing. So there's two things that we're achieving. We're starting to understand how to observe and how to record the shapes of the eye and the different lines within it. And then we're also creating pattern by using this multi-directional overlapping technique. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my watch, which has a timer on it, and I'm gonna time myself through various different um, drawings. I'm not gonna stop the film each time and tell you how long each one is. You'll be able to work that out roughly for yourself as you watch through what I'm doing. I have a mirror that I'm going to be using. What your teacher may get you to do is to take a photograph of your eye on your iPad and then have that stood up in front of you. And then you're constantly working from that. It's maybe slightly easier to use your iPad than it is using a mirror because the mirror does tend to keep moving. The iPad stays nice and still. Anyway, I'm gonna prop my mirror up in front of me so that I don't have to keep waving it in front of the camera and then I'm going to get myself started with my time, time studies. It's most likely that your teacher is going to start you on some shorter ones and then they'll get longer as the lesson progresses. Okay, so that was a one minute um, timed study. Um, and I've managed to capture quite a lot of detail in there. And you should have noticed how my pencil never left the page, which is why we have some of these linking lines that take you from one area to another. Um, you can get quite a lot of detail. The most important thing about the drawing is that you keep looking. You should spend more time looking at your eye in the photo or in the mirror than you do looking at your piece of paper. And then as these increase in time, you can add more and more detail and really start looking for all of those individual elements of the eye and then also starting to add in some shading.
Okay, so that should give you um, enough of an idea about what we're looking for, this nice kind of multi-directional, overlapping but not overlapping too much, just some nice areas and where you do overlap, keep those marks nice and light. And then really looking, um, this one here was actually a five minute study but I really wanted to try it nice and large and, no sorry, this one was a one minute study but I wanted to do it really large uh, to see how much I could get done in a minute and just to really practice. Now these are not perfect drawings by any stretch of the imagination but they do help you to understand what your eye looks like because you're having to look again and again and again when you're drawing it and that's the key to this is to make sure that you keep looking.